Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is the last in the edition from Skinner's Brewery and it's their Cornish Blonde. Love the label on this beer. Um, it's, it's very funny. There you go. A uh, picture of a blonde lady with a dress blowing up and there's a man there with his tongue out in the background. I think we're all like that with blondes, aren't we? <laughs> okay, this beer is 5% in the volume, so I think it's the strongest in their range. And it's fellow servers will make a contribution from the sale of this bottle. So there we go, Skinner's Cornish Blonde. Not much on the cap, it's just an, an ordinary green cap here. Slightly that classic blonde beer smell there. Ever so slightly grassy and sweet. They make some nice sweet beers through Skinners. Without further ado, let's get it into the bottle, into the glass. The one thing I like about Skinners beers is they look bottle condition but they're actually not. Again I've made an effort to pre-hand wash the glass so what you're getting here is a very very small head light to look at slightly hazy with very little carbonation. It's in the nose. Not too much really, it's slightly malty, slightly sweet. So let's dig in. This is a very, very good light. It's another knockback beer. I just done the uh, another beer, which is you could just swig it back. I'm getting hints of sweet strawberry fruits. It's a little dry in the mouth, but it's very refreshing. It's a very refreshing beer. Slightly malty, a little hoppy. It's giving a little bit of lacing on the glass, but not too much head at all. It goes down very easy. It's another one of these, I call them apple juice beers. It tastes nothing like apple juice, but it's got the same feel as it's going down. There's no head, there's, you could knock it back, there's no carbonation to, to gash you out. It could lie very well in your stomach. <clears throat> So if you like that type of beer where you want something quick to chug back, you've had, some people call it low mower beers. You've been out in the garden all day mowing the lawn, you're thirsty, a crack up with a bottle, you basically just want to knock it back. Refresh yourself. This is this beer, this is what this will give for you. I'm going to let that just settle down slightly. I'm drinking it a little fast. Um, I'll read what's on the bottle. There's some ri they're from Riverside, Newham, Truro in Cornwall. Their website is www.skinnersbrewery.com. Um, here we go then. 
a combination of the highest quality wheat malt, there you go, and British and American hops make this light coloured wheat beer deceptively easy to drink with a superb citrus finish. Not really getting the citrus finish in this. It is it's citrus to begin with, um, fruity I'd say, more more of a a slight tarty fruit. But let's Suppose it's slightly citrusy, but you you've got to really think about it. It's more malty. It's a much more malty drink than uh, than I'd say citrusy, but it's very very good. Okay, that's so that's that's the bottle. Let's give you a quick spin round. There's a lady in a deck chair. Deck chair's collapsed on her. Um, right, without further ado, we got quite a new rating system behind the Real Ale Guide. Um, let's, let's show you what it is. This is the beer wall. This is my top 73 beers over the past year on the Real Ale Guide. It may cause um, a bit of controversy, but it's my own personal choice to where I think these beers should go. If by any chance you think a certain beer should be higher up the rating or lower down the rating on the chart, let me know. So, this is my invention. We're always looking for new things on the Real Ale Guide. It's the 19th of January 2011. I believe this is something new in terms of beer reviewing. So I'll just show you that quickly and then I'll grab the camera. So, what gets the number one slot? My beer of all time on the beer wall. There's the top 73. The camera won't focus very well, so I'm having to come in. So there we go. Number one is Dogfish Head 60 Minute IPA. That is my number one beer so far on the Real Ale Guide. Followed by Young's Double Chocolate Stout. The India Pale Ale comes in at number 3 from Model Brewing. Then we got the Old Tom from Robinson's Brewery. Torpedo, Sierra Nevada Torpedo. Then we got a London Pride. Dogfish Head 90 Minute. Manchester Bitter, Marble Beers. Imperial Pumpkin Ale by Weyerbacher. The Victory Ale from Bateman's Brewery. Ithaca Flower Power comes in at number 11. Adnams Broadside 12. Meantime Chocolate 13. Old Peculiar 14. Brewdog Punk IBA 15. Betty Stoggs 16. Candog Goblin 17. 10 Fiddy 18. And the Cascade Pale Ale 19. I just, I don't want to go through too much of it, but I'll run down very slowly be able to pause your computers or your your laptops while watching this to really get a good idea of where these beer reviews where these beers are on this chart so where does this beer come does this beer Cornish Blonde by Skinner's Brewery getting the top 73 beers. I'll make a card up over the next day or so, but I think it's probably going to come round the Heligan Honey, Braxbeer Bitter. I'd say that's number 60, 65. Top 65 beer, that's not bad. Thanks for watching the Real Ale Guide. I think I'm running out of time. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, 
all the rest of it. But thanks for watching. Let me know how the chart is if you like it. Cheers.